The revolutionary new sequel, AI2, by Paradise Decay is coming 2023. Sweet! If you're into VR gaming, go and subscribe to Paradise Decay. He's been like, he's the OGs of VR gaming, okay? Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. I'm really, really excited today. I'm jumping into Hubris on the PlayStation VR 2. I did say a year ago, this was one of the best looking VR games I'd ever seen. I'm hoping today on the PlayStation VR 2, it's going to look just as good. Also, I'm really curious about the haptics. I am planning to cover this game on various platforms. I'm going to be doing the Quest 2 version. And I also want to do like a comparison version of the PC, the Quest 2 and the PlayStation VR 2 as well. A big thank you to the developers for this early look at the game. Let's dive in. Okay, so I'm in the main menu. Difficulty, let's try on uh, normal. I'm standing. Manual reload. Camera shake. Smooth turn. Congratulations, Recruit, in finishing your basic training. Before you leave to the Twin Planet system, I'm going to help you get used to this Triple O tactical suit, which has the ability to adapt to most environments you will encounter. Let's get started. Okay, this looks really nice. Super sharp, super clear. I'm loving the effects already. Loving the colours. Now this game's come a long way since the uh, PC version. A soldier needs to be able to move with agility. The suit will boost your speed and strength. Use your left stick to move forward. Use your right stick to turn. My turning speed is really slow. I need to go back to the options menu. Movement, okay. Turn degrees, smooth turning. Try 170. That's better. Sometimes you will need that extra speed boost to reach certain places. Try reaching the door before it closes. You can sprint by pressing the left stick. Well done, you have made it on time. Now go stand on the red tile. Jump in place to disable the force field. Try jumping over the gaps while walking towards them. You can jump further by holding the button longer. These gaps are bigger, so try jumping while sprinting towards them. Not all heights are reachable by simply jumping onto them. Climbing will be just as important. By using this button, you can grab ledges and climb. You can climb on top by moving one or both controllers down in a push motion you can also grab ledges while jumping towards them. Easy peasy. Here we go. Another barrier you will have to overcome, navigating in and underwater. Don't worry about oxygen. Your suit is adapted to provide it in any environment. Swimming is straightforward. You move in the opposite direction of the palms of your hands, jump in the water and make swimming movements. Move your hands up or down to move upwards or downwards. This looks like a real pool. I just want to dive in. Okay, the haptics on the headset was amazing then. I don't remember this tunnel being so long. Okay, up we go. Move your hands up or down to move upwards or downwards. Okay, up the ledge. 
There we go. Your suit is equipped with a hollow backpack. It can transform matter into data and materialize it again when you grab it back. Please pick up these items, then drop them behind one of your shoulders and put them in your backpack. There we go. Well done. Take a look at the top of your left wrist. You can see a big triple O logo on there. The percentage on it tells you what the energy level of your suit is. As your suit is connected to your body, eating or drinking will raise the energy level. Now, take a food item out of your backpack by grabbing it over your right shoulder and eat it by holding it in front of your mouth. Nice. Good. Your energy level is at 100% again. Now, look at your left wrist again and tap on the triple O logo. You can now simply select the item directly from your interface. Now put a battery in the red slot to disable the force field by grabbing it over your left shoulder. Battery. Well done. Continue and open the last door. It was a really cool effect with the shield. at least you will have to learn to you can equip or unequip your gun try hitting as many targets as possible within the time limit to pass your final assessment to reload the gun push the clip back in okay I hit my finger then so you can use like your body to uh, reload well done recruit to wrap up your training, you will be sent to the Twin Planet System. Walk towards the end of the room and board your spacecraft. For the journey ahead, you won't be needing any weapons, as you will be escorted by far more experienced and trained soldiers. Let's go. Please take your place in your sleeping pod. Make yourself comfortable, because it will be a long trip. Going in. Games like this really make you appreciate VR. Okay, here we go. Stunning view outside the window. Good morning, recruit. I'm Lucia, the pilot of this Triple O ship. Yeah, before we unlock your sleeping pod, I'm going to give you a short update. We've just left light speed to enter the Twin Planet system, still several hours away from your drop-off point. The intergalactic harbour on the Pillar Planet, where you... Let me check your data. You'll continue your training to become an agent of the Order of Objectivity. Well, believe me, there are worse places to be trained than the capital of temptation. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to unlock your cabin now. Thank you. Hey, before you rush out, be aware you've been asleep for nine days, so moving around can feel strange for a while. Awesome effect. You can't beat this. This is like being there for real. I'm on a spaceship. I'm in space. I do feel like I'm wearing a spacesuit with the uh, Just a sec. The headset. We're receiving a code 9 message from the command ship. Triple members of our transport vessel MOG 309. We received an emergency call from a dwarf planet which your ship is passing by at this very moment. Due to the fact that none of my agents are close by, I'm reaching out for you. Or oh, honor, no, no. I order you a special force commander to go down and check it out. Now, Officer Lucia, start landing procedures immediately. Troopers, once landed on the planet, 
Go and search for Special Agent Sayana. We lost all contact since she sent a message from one of her drones, so she may be wounded or even dead. But if she is alive, do whatever you can to help her finish what she started. Now, in the name of the order of objectivity, go and succeed. Okay, let's do it. All right, recruit. Troopers, you heard the commander. Forget about the pleasure domes on the pillar planet. We have a mission to attend to instead. Buckle up. We're going down. My controllers are now vibrating in time with the ship. The sensation in my controllers is slowly building up. What the? Okay, hang on. That's not good. We crushed. We don't have much time. Follow me. Let me grab these batteries. Where's my backpack? See those batteries over there? Yep. Grab one and put it in your backpack. Got three. Okay, good. Now, follow me outside. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this, guys. Absolutely amazing. Listen carefully. You see that recon drone over there? Yep. Top of that rock? I tried to reactivate it, but the battery's dead. If you could climb out of the water and put the new battery in, then I can re-enter the ship and connect to the drone from there. Welcome to Pandora. I do feel like I'm in Avatar. The sensations, the immersion, the uh, beauty of these worlds in a VR headset, you cannot match playing on a flat screen. I feel like I'm on this planet for real. This is a real place. I'm in awe. Look at the fish. Okay, let me go and grab this up here. Oh great, you did it. My turn now. Yes, it works. I can control the drone remotely now. Oh, while you were unconscious, those two troopers already left the ship and went searching for the spaceport. Uh, I suggest you follow them. Okay, I'll lead the way. Recruit, follow me. Ah, uh, I mean the drone. Oh, avoid swimming in the water as much as possible. I tried blasting these squid with my energy blaster, but it seemed to have no effect on these species. Best to avoid them for now. Okay, we need to try and avoid the squid. Okay, follow the drone. You know, you're probably wondering why we ended up in the water. Well, I was flying towards the spaceport when this little ship took off and flew right at us. I didn't want to crash into them, so I had to change course before landing and here we are. Well, the good news is that the ship isn't severely damaged. Okay, so while you and the troopers are looking for Cyana, I'll try and pump out the water and get the ship going again. Oh, let's hope those terraformers don't start up before I finish the job, so I can pick you all up. I'm assuming you find Agent Cyana, and she's still alive. Okay.
Okay, can we grab that one? Okay, we made it. That cable is clearly made from some organic substance. You know what? I bet the Triple O database can get us some more info on this. Make my way across. Scan and off it goes. I'm really curious to check out the Quest 2 version. I've been hearing some good reports. Okay. Made it. All right, recruit. I got a hit. Apparently these squids are hunted for their special energy resistant body fluid. Looks like the poachers abandoned all their gear and left. I wonder what this device is used for. Let's figure this out. Squid arms go in, something comes out. So we need to kill some squid. This cave is clearly the fastest way to the spaceport. There must be a way to cross this gap. Oh, that looks like a torpedo gun. Let's get out there and hunt some squids. Oh, and bring back some arms. Here we go. Squid time. I love the effects of the uh, squid gun. Grab this arm. Grab this one as well. We need two arms. Go this way. Okay, there we go, we've got enough. Make our way back. Okay. Squid arms in. Okay. Got it. Okay, so we throw this over there, don't we? job. What about throwing it over to that other energy panel? Whoop! Bullseye! I think my drone is very water resistant, so I'm going to look for another way. Okay. And see you on the other side. See you on the other side. Let me check out this box here. What's that? Some sort of uh, crystal. Okay, the squid down here. Someone's firing back. 
Trời We got squid juice And you probably noticed I'm wearing my Squid Games t-shirt Everything feels so perfect and re responsive to this game Okay, let me grab these. Okay, I don't know what those things are, but they're not in my inventory. It's a long way down. More squid? Bullseye I do like this weapon, it's so unique It's got some really cool effects You can hear the weapon um, charging up. Hello fish, can I grab a fish? Can I shoot a fish? <laughs> no. This is about as far as I got on the uh, PC version. Jump across. Didn't you pay attention during the weapon course? Torpedo guns can only be used underwater. Hey, what's that for? So we need some more squid bits. Put those in there. This is like armor. goes in there and then we can throw it across here okay made it
seems to be a lot more variety to the game now since I last played on PC. I don't remember this hidden area here. Mine out of the way! No, there's something shiny up there, what's that? Let's check this out. It's just a plant. There's a really nice sense of depth here. I feel really deep in the water. There's a squid arm behind me. Just let me go back. Cave. They've done the underwater really well as well. That terraformer over there is messing with the gravity. One of its arms is probably underneath those rocks. Let's hope we get off this planet before the terraformer is activated. Maybe you can go underwater and see if you can free some of these rocks. This is as far as I got on the PC. I got stuck on the rock puzzles. I could not quite grab the rocks to um, to get across. Okay. So let me try. Okay, that's working today. So I've never got this far in the game before. Oh no, look over there. It's one of our troopers. Oh, I'm afraid he's dead. Be careful. Maybe he was killed by one of these bugs. His gun is right next to him. Probably not a smart idea to run over there, but you really could use that gun. If you could find a way to lure them away from that body. Okay. Put those in there, what happens? Okay, do they like this fruit? 
gonna try to lure them away from the body. Okay. Good. They seem to like that food. Now, take the gun oh. and blast those creeps. Shit. Get it, run. This is so cool. The main gate seems to be locked. Let's check the floor for a maintenance hatch. Loving the combat. I Number see crew, you. Come over here. Looks like an entrance. No trace of Cyana. Maybe we'll find something in the spaceport. Spaceport. Wow, this is huge. That looks like an entrance. This here. Oh, there. So we need to move this thing, don't we? Can't push it. Now you only have to find a way to move that container handler. Yes. So how do we move it? Some ladders here. This game is very similar to the quality of Half-Life Alex. It's not as long, but it certainly feels triple A. Nice. Oh, the hatch is open. Let's get down there. That was close. Okay, we're going down. That's a long way down. Ooh, I've got a trophy there. It's a bit dark. So cool. Wow. Okay, let me try this door around here first. I see you peeking around the corner. You got any friends? There's one coming. So these guys remind me of the head crabs. This is so cool. I want these developers to make a Star Wars game. They've nailed it. What's that? Take 
take it. Okay, nothing up there. There's a pipe there leading round. They've now got a soundtrack as well. On the PC, when I played the game, they were still working on the soundtrack. The game's got even more atmosphere now. Okay, leap of faith. Ooh, ooh, my stomach. More fruit. I'm going to eat one of those. Hello there, little guy. I see you. <laughs> What's that? Is that going to probe me? I missed all the action on the PC because I did not get to this part of the game of the combat. I can hear you, you little sod. Making weird, creepy noises. Oh, there's a nest there. Shoot the nest. Is it dead? Creepy little buggers, aren't they? Okay, is that them all dead? I heard you sneaking up on me. Ah! <laughs> Hiding around the corner. So we're infested. Is there a nest round the back here? I think we took care of the infestation. There's one down there. So we can either go through the door there. Is that the door from the other side? And do we need to go down here? Nearly fell. Okay. Run, jump. Oh, there's glass there. Hi, guys. Okay, there's like a barrier in here. And it's killing these guys, so... That's locked. We need to go down.
Do I need to go up there? Shit. It's a long way down though. Let me uh let me just check around here first. I think I need to drop down there. Okay, who's this guy? There's nothing down here. What's that? Right, we need to get back up. Oh, what's this on the wall? Mushrooms. Let's take the magic mushrooms. Okay, we've got this. So we need to go across this one. We need to go up. Which I'm not looking forward to because this is a long way down. Crap. Not too bad then. Creepy. Okay, let me get around this side. I'm climbing up here, here, here. So these types of games in VR are my favourite genre, the uh, sci-fi action adventure games. So I'm in my element right now. This is superb. There you are. I'm so glad you made it, Recruit. This place is dead. No traces of Cyanna. Look at the burn marks on this worker over here. He was killed by a blaster, not a bug. And these power shields, that means the spaceport is in lockdown. I wonder what they tried to keep out. Trying to keep me out. Or trying to keep me from getting in. That's a really cool effect. <laughs> With the uh, shield. You know, my drone is a recon drone. It should be able to make an opening in those power fields. Let's give it a try. No, it doesn't work. The batteries are too weak. Okay, these are like ships. A 3D printing room. Mm, we can print a stronger battery for my drone.
Let me see. The printing device is in the middle. All right. I'm going to upload an advanced triple O battery blueprint. Okay, now it's your turn. Looks like it still needs extra resources to print the battery. The dematerializer is on the right. It converts objects into resource tubes. Okay, grab some objects and throw them in the dematerializer. Okay. Take the tubes and put them into the proper resource slots. Over there, on the All left right. side of the printer. Metal. Okay. Right, that's a start. But we still need some extra resources. Look for some more objects and throw them in there. I'm going to check this room as well here. Might be some goodies in here. That's metal. Okay, we're back here, okay. So we've got metal. We need the... Um, I can go in there. That's one of them. We need more, apparently. Throw it all in. Fiber. We need this one. Cyan. Here we go. Plastic. Okay, can we print it now? Confirm item. We need 10 of those though. Everything's going in. Mushrooms. Uh, maybe not the mushrooms. Oh good, that should be enough. The printer should work now. Okay. It works. Now take the battery and put it in me. Um, uh, Excuse me. I, I mean the drone. <laughs> I should be able to create a doorway now. Okay. Come on, follow me. Let's do it. How about over here? You know how to kill bugs by now. Perfect. I'm pretty sure you got this. All right. Get ready. Opening the holographic shield in three, two. One. What's that sound? Stand back! What? Stand back. Oh, what's that? Oh, seems like we're safe. For now. Oh, I've never seen a drone like that before. It's clearly not running on cyan. Okay, change of plan. As far as I can tell, that drone is stuck there. So I'm going to make an opening over here. You go and collect everything you can that can be turned into printing resources, and I'll go back to the printing room and upload a blueprint for your gun. Nice. Right, I'll wait for you there. There's like a pod here. That one's locked. That's not dying.
Okay, let's see how far we get with the resources you collected. Hold your gun above it and let go. Okay, what we're going to do, shotgun, auto, pistol, more damage. It worked. New toy achievement. Oh, to take out those drones. All right, let's get this over with. Time to kill those drones. Arm yourself. I'm opening the power field. Right. Now. There's one dead. If you hold your weapon two-handed, you get like a Great laser. job! The area looks clear for now. There's one in there, though. Oh, still no traces of Sienna. Behind that wall is the main power source of the spaceport. Oh, wait. My senses tell me there's something alive behind that wall. The signal isn't clear, but it's definitely a humanoid. Or two. Look, Key there's cards. an open entrance. Find a way to get up there. You could use more firepower to be drones like that. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to my little bell. Be sure to check out my comparison videos. I'm going to be um, checking out the Quest 2 version. I'm also going to revisit the PC version. I'll see you later. Bye. So we need to go up there. And there's a Hey maybe use this huge lifter to get onto this platform. Good plan. It's funny, as I was walking from the, the, the train station I bumped into Paradise Decay, who obviously mods our streams regularly and is like, you know, a huge part of the community and uh, Doc, Dr. Oculus, they were kind of lost walking around and I went up to approach him <laughs> and Paradise Decay thought I was going to mug him or something. <laughs> but I actually just went, I just went and just gave him a big hug. Um, so, all right, let's go, boys. Let's make the magic so happen. So you tried to salvage it? Nathy, <laughs> Nathy, if you want, I can hide your nameplate. Why? Then people can't see how bad you are. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that was that nice. <laughs> <laughs> Someone called a fire brigade. Nathan's on fire. He just got roasted. By the <laughs> 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 Might want to um, there, Mike. <laughs> why is PD going the wrong way around the track? <laughs> Shits and giggles. That's awesome. His eyes are sore now. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, <laughs> she's really. His eyes have been fixed. Around. He should be all right now. His eyes have been fixed. Oh yeah, you're in. Okay. Well, <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's the, that's oh, off track. Bully. PD, I saw. I was dead. You were running around for me, like Steve. Where are you, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> that's why it was so perfect. He, so he didn't even know he could kill people. <laughs> hey, we're not friends anymore, PD. It's over, man. Jack. It's over. <laughs> so yeah. PD's, PD's sitting there playing the fool. He's like, "How do I get rid of the map? What's going <laughs> yeah. on?" Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He totally was doing that. I was totally. What if Blissful Life to be looking for Steve? <laughs>